battle of creativity is more than 100 years ago, a boy named Thomas Elva Edison lived in a small Ohio town. Tom was a lively child. He always took things apart and put them together again, or trying to put them together. One day his father said, look at, look at this, another broken toys. Now don't be hard on him, his mother said. He only wanted to see how things work, but even she lost passion with him when he almost burned down the family's barn. Tom was more careful, but it's hard when you are cu curious. Then the family moved, moved to Michigan by now. Tom was old enough to go to school. Unfortunately, he did. Unfortunately, he didn't like sit still and listen to teacher or memorize his lesson. Since Tom spent most of his time daydreaming, daydreaming, his teacher saw that well, there was something wrong with him. But he just like experimenting more than he likes school. Tom's mother decided teach him at home. Soon he loved read especially about science. At 12, Tom heard about a job on train selling candies, newspapers, and sandwich. His father agreed, and so it was settled. Two days later, Tom's, Tom at train station began his job. Before long, Tom set up a laboratory at Trans car. When his job was finished, he would experiment at 16. He got his first real job at night telegraph operant and the train agent, but Tom could never hold a job very long. He either too tired from studying or too busy experimenting to do his job, so Tom decided he spend more time in men invented things. He was stubborn, independent and hard working. Some of Tom's invention had, was be noticed. And then Tom happened in New York at Golden at Gold Exchange when a, when an ex important machine was broke down. Tom's, Tom Step in, and in one or two hours, he makes machine running perfectly. In the following month, Tom invented a way to improve the machine. The company paid pay him forty thousand for his for his inventions. I'm going to business myself for myself," said Tom. And Tom. When 23 owned a workshop and a laboratory, he hired a system to help. I want to fix things so that the world can run by electricity, mm. said Tom. In the following year, Tom, inven Tom invented many things. He also improved electricity. Alexander Graham Bell's telephone. At 29, Tom invented the phonograph. It becomes one of his most beloved inventions. Tom's greatest invention was a new kind of a new kind of electric light. Until Tom figured out how to make them, no, no light bulb like ones today. At that time, people used to, uh, people used to glow from, glow from, fireplaces, candle, and oil or gas lamp for light. Tom and his assistant work day and night. When exhausted, they slept on table and the chairs to snatch some sleep. Then then worked some more. In 1897, after thousands of experiments, Tom created a lamp glowed with bright, long-lasting light. 
His invention changed the world. He made more, more many more important invention. He even worked out a way to combine moving picture and the sound. Thanks Tom Edison for movies. Tom Edison, Edison was creative and uh, tried to do all things in new way. Oh.